All right, so let's just talk about applying materials. I did this on one of the other ones, but I wanted to just come in and show you how to apply material parameters. So if you have any kind of form, so I've got this form element here, you can go in and go to, you can select it and it'll give you a material area over here in properties and you can assign a material parameter. So if I go into material here, left click, I can add a parameter and I can name this aperture mat for aperture material and click OK and click OK. And now if I go in to my family times dialog, I actually have an aperture material option. So I can come in and go and left click on that and it'll open up my material dialog box and I can go either create or get another material. So if I go in and say, I want this to be aluminum, it'll show me the, op the options for aluminum. Um, I don't have any in this project, but I do have some that are in the library that's on the hard drive. So I can come in and select one of these. So this is anodized aluminum, move it up to my uh, project. And I'm just going to use render appearance for the shading. So I'm going to click on that and click OK. And now that's assigned to that particular face. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of new family types. So I'm going to click on new and we'll name this one zero space space 15 space space two. Click OK. I'll do another one and we'll name this one 20, space, space, 10, space, space, 4, click OK, and then we'll just do 20, 10, and 4, and we'll apply that. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and put different material on this for this particular family type. So if I go in here and click this guy, that guy, let's go that guy. So I'm picking all of the surfaces. I think I got them all. And I'm going to go to material and make sure that that aperture mat is on there. And let's see, it looks like I missed one of them. So this one needs to have it applied to it. So there's aperture mat. Okay, so now all those have that aluminum anodized that's applied here and that's in the family type 2010-4 but I can come in here and change that so if I go to aluminum again say I wanted the blue one so I'll pick that use render appearance for shading and click OK and click apply and so now I can go to the other type. If I pull this out, you can see that it has the anodized aluminum. I hit apply. And now if I go to this type, it has the blue aluminum and apply. Okay, I could actually, in this case, since I have different um, faces for each, so I could pick that face and that face, and I could actually add a different parameter to it. I could add you know, aperture mat two, right? And click OK. And then if I go to my family types, I've got two options, right? There's the mat two and there's the value. I could come in and for mat two on this particular family type, which we'll just stick with aluminum. All right, we'll take the red one. and use render appearance for shading. Click OK, click apply. So now you've got red aluminum on those sides and blue on that. Okay?